Welcome back to Developer Commentary. My name's Mike Stout, and I am here with a special guest today, Mary Stout, my wife. Yay! Yay! Hi, Mary. How you Hi. doing? Fine. How are you? Long it time no see. Long time no see, indeed. It looks like we're going to be playing Ratchet and Clank 1. Yay! Yay! Okay. Uh, well, maybe we should be quiet for the, uh, for the cutscenes. What do you think? Yes. Because they're funny. Yes. Oh, it's Clank's mom! Oh, I forgot about Clank's mom. Me too. Remember, she's pro. Oh, I spoilers. Spoilers. Now that's not Clank's girlfriend. That's just an info bot, right? Yes. This was one of the last cutscenes to go into the game, actually. Really? That's, yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why it has no dialogue, because it was so late in the game that we had to do an intro, but we didn't have enough time to do a VO recording and localize it for all the territories and everything. So, what, so the animators had to do this scene without any VO. But, so then what cutscenes were done first? Um... Actually, some of the cutscenes on not the not on Velden, but the the next planet. Okay. Which was the first level that was done? Yeah, like the like the demo level, like what you have. People, oh, that you know what I the mean. The first level we did uh, that way was Metropolis, I think. Three. Yeah, that was level three. Okay. And also level one, which was uh, I think it's something Crater. Oh, this will never do. Well, I gotta reverse my, uh... Oh, I, do you do it wrong? I don't think I do it wrong. Do you do it wrong? We are here to offer you advice I, I think Tony, I do the uh, up-down the same. Uh, nope, that's wrong. Were you pressed this down is, to go up? This is exactly the sort of, uh, uh, riveting gameplay <laughs> and commentary that you would expect from our fine program. <laughs> All right. Uh, the fact that you use controls wrong. Shut up. <laughs> I have Look, to... I didn't pick you because you could replace Tony at insulting me. I, 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 I picked you to ask me questions. So ask me to... questions, monkey girl. <laughs> I need to channel Tony, and I was not regression monkey until Ratchet Two. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, do you remember anything that you did on this game? Uh, I remember I'd never tested before, and I'd never played on the PlayStation before. Right. And so I remember at some point, I don't remember what level it was, I was in the office playing through, unfamiliar, so I couldn't even figure out how to break the game yet because I was just playing through for yeah, the first were, time. Yeah, you were sitting at Brian Hastings' desk, yes. right? Yeah. So he was sitting next to me and he's watching me play and he says, That's a bug. And then runs off. And I was like, What did I do? <laughs> and I you did, thought you did something wrong, right? Well, I didn't know what I did. I was like, I, uh, What? It feels like there's a secret here. I don't remember. Nope, just death. <laughs> Yeah, all right, buckle up, buttercups. You're in for a couple of hours of this shit. <laughs> yeah, so at some point, Brian's like, that's a bug, and ran off, and I <laughs> didn't know what that was. And then there was another point, because I'm one of those completionist players. Oh, God, the everything. camera has acceleration on it. <laughs> oh. We, uh, oh, Roberto! <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, you and you and Tony had this game down, memorized, and you were just running through, you know, doing more bugs than I was doing, obviously, at that point. But I was am a completionist player, even when, at the start of testing, I was still doing that. So I was trying to fill in every part of the map. Yeah. And I did not know the game as oh. well as you guys did, so I'm going in, trying to fill in the map, trying to figure out how where things are so I can start actually trying to break the game later. And it turned out there was a bug with the map filling in. That no one would find no out. No one would have found it. All right, it. let me tell you guys about this. Okay, so we've got this map thing. And uh, on every game that we did, we had to have this map thing. Because we had, you know, you had to know where you went and where you couldn't go and all that Thank stuff. Thank goodness. But uh, this thing is so hard to do. Because if you look at... Uh, uh, 
if you you'll notice that the uh, the it has to fill in the light colored gray, but not the dark colored gray, and it only has to fill in things that you could see. So, for example, if I if I hadn't seen over that ledge right there, it wouldn't have been able to show. It was just a nightmare for whoever had to program it. I didn't even know all that. And, uh, uh, you know, and it required a lot of QA. And, you know, Tony and I were both extremely busy, and so was uh, 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 our other tester, Steve. And so often, Mary, because she actually, for some freakish reason, enjoys it, yep. decided to, you know, go in and test all the maps. And, you know, a lot of them were really broken, so. The fact that the maps work at all is te testament to Mary's involvement in this game. On the second game, she was the hover bike chick on this game. Uh, I did regression. I was be way better at regressing bugs and making sure if they came back or not. I was really good at that. Um, Sean was superstar at so, breaking the game. Real quick, this the, re the reason for this enemy existing is to try to train you to use the bomb glove. Oh, I right? was thinking... His thing is the perfect distance away for you to hit him with the bomb glove and all that. Nobody ever does that. My first thought is, why didn't you throw the wrench at him? <laughs> you want me to just use the wrench for the entire thing? No. Tony can do it. I mean, it's been done. Yeah, but I'm not... I'm not looking to prove anything here. Everyone knows how terrible I am at this game. <laughs> no, I mean, I... Oh, oh. ball... You, case in point. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna skip over my failings because without Tony here to make fun of me, I don't uh, I don't think this is going to be as fun for everybody. Yeah, because I'm not going to mock you like Tony did does normally. So. Oh, you missed a bolt. Did I? I mean, we were trying to teach you bombs on this part, too. Oh. Because, you know, this is the first time you have to fight the swarmers over a gap. Uh, but, you know. That's always satisfying. I like the tall pile of crates where, and then you just you know, jump slam with the wrench. That's always satisfying to me. Well, crate placement is an art. Yes. We have a whole episode on that practically. Yes. Forget which one. It's I think it's in Ratchet and Clank 3, like episode 12, 13, remember, or 14 yeah. or something. Yeah. But it is interesting because I always want to know about it. It was a lot easier to break frame in this game because our bolts... Uh, like, we didn't divvy up the bolts uh, as much in the crates. Wait, how did you decide what bolt, how many bolts were in what, what crate? Well, the way... Uh, so you never decide how many bolts go in a crate. Oh, you great. decide how many bolts go in a level. Yeah. And then uh, all of the crates on frame one take a share of, you know, however many bolts that level has. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, in this game... Uh, we did that. We did that, but we didn't know necessarily. We weren't as sophisticated about how how many units of each bolt each crate spawned. Oh. So it was much easier to break frame. Got it. Was were you one of the people doing frame? Oh, that's okay. There's no dialogue here either. Oh, <laughs> were you one of the people testing frame rate in this game? Until now. Uh, no, I didn't do that until the next game. Okay. They, I would try to find frame rate bugs, but I wasn't fixing them. Interesting. <laughs> You're quite handy I think uh, it also might have been intentional that there was no talking at the beginning, because it might have been a gag. Could have been. Because um, before Ratchet and a few other mascot platformers, uh, mostly game heroes were silent. Oh, Especially yeah. the mascot characters. Mario. Like, Mario didn't start talking for a long time. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, uh, I don't know, Crash. Crash is still silent. You know? My race, the yeah, what about oh. Donkey Kong doesn't talk? Drek. I miss Drek. I heard he's going to be the bad guy in the movie. I know. But I chair the we will go make more movies. We are constructing a mm, pristine yep. new world nefarious. using the choices of planetary. Maybe countries. Nefarious will also be in it. That would so, be bad. What does this mean to you? You might ask. Using scary ratchet. God, this thing, the deplanetizer, just looks so brutal. Just. Wow. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and. Drift into the sun, where it will Drift explode. Drift into the sun, yeah. Gas, but of course, sacrifices, sacrifices must, must be made. Thank you for your cooperation. 
And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and... <laughs> so, um... First butt joke? Uh... Actually, uh, people didn't get this joke. Uh, really? yeah, because they didn't understand why he would keep talking. Oh, did they miss the word cut? Well, the word cut wasn't in there originally. Oh. That was added after the fact. That was just someone from the office screaming the word cut into a microphone. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, so we had to add that word in order to make that scene make sense. Yeah, that would make sense. The robotic ignition system. Yep. How did you know that? So I had nothing to do with this level. Uh, I didn't even place crates in this level. It's weird hearing Ratchets. Oh, Mikey Kelly, yeah. This was Ratchet's original voice. I mean, it's familiar, but I'm so used to the new voice now. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's funny because uh, both this Ratchet and James Arnold Taylor, I think his name is, are uh, uh, they're both in that Ninja Turtle movies you like. The, the animated one. Oh, in the CG? Yeah, one like Leonardo is the I new ratchet. It sounded familiar. And Michelangelo is the old ratchet. Whoa, that's wow. the uh, yeah, the CG one they made a few years back. I love that one. That was a good one. The yeah, mechanism, I sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> but I won't. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is C54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. 